Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Words of Ages. Today we are going to talk about when something has to change, how to push yourself to take action. The truth you believe in and cling to makes you unavailable to hear anything new. At some point, this there comes a defining moment when you know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you just can't keep living the way you've been living. You know that something has to got to give and realize that you have two options either change or stay the same the idea of having to choose either one of those options feels absolutely unbearable so you find yourself trapped between the two in this awful purgatory of indecision that's exactly where i was trapped unable to stay in an unhappy marriage and unable to leave it the prospect of changing required the long journey inward having to look at myself honestly and courageously and do the things that I was I was afraid of doing to change men that I had to leap into uncharted waters not knowing if I'd sink or swim and in the face of that I was easily lured back to the comfort of the familiar I was quick to me- reassure myself that even in my unhappy situation with all of its heartache and suffering at least I knew what to expect and that thought was comforting in precise tandem with that thought was the awareness that if i could bring myself to leap off the cliff to change i would be stuck living life in a state of unhappiness and dysfunction and that thought was terrifying i couldn't stay where i was so but i was too afraid to move forward the purgatory of indecision was an awful place to be in it was filled with its own unique despair it was fraught with doubt shame anger and huge amounts of fear but in spite of that it wasn't it still wasn't enough to propel me in any direction i was stuck in this purgatory for years eventually i came to understand that my thoughts and beliefs didn't actually come from me they came from the very loud and dictatorial voice of my codependent mind it had become so loud and powerful that it had all but drowned out my own voice one of its most potent functions was to convince me that every terrible thing i told myself about myself was the gospel truth I've learned to think of my codependency as a seed and the same analogy applies for addiction, depression and other struggles. There sits the seed of it buried deep in our brain and in some of us at some point something will happen to trigger it. The event acts as the water it needs to grow. If it's allowed to set its roots down, it continues to grow stronger and stronger. The voice of that dysfunction slowly and steadfastly takes over and begins to drown out. Eventually this dysfunctional voice is the only one you hear and so you recognize it as you but it's not you I think of it as two minds my mind and the codependent mind my codependent mind has grown so big and its roots so deep that it was calling all the shots the mind of many dis- any dysfunction regardless of where it originated has its own unique sets of toolboxes In my case my codependent mind was a master at using fear and self doubt to create confusion fear along with self doubt whispers you are not good enough or you are not worthy and insists you can't trust what you feel or what you think thereby creating all kinds of space for confusion to reign there was constant tug of war going on inside of me i was convinced that i wanted and needed was what i wanted and needed was wrong if it wasn't in alignment with what others wanted and needed from me daily my codependent mind reminded that i was inadequate unlovable unworthy and incapable and as the codependent voice got louder and louder it became the only voice i recognized and heard but here's the thing the secret to silencing that voice of dysfunction is to challenge it we must disbelieve what it's saying the problem was that any attempt at disagreeing with what my codependent mind created huge amounts of anxiety and fear so you can see that the predicament to silence it we have to disbelieve it and to disbelieve it creates tremendous anxiety the thing you need to know is that anxiety is the superpower of any dysfunction it uses our disdain and discomfort for feeling anxious as a way of staying in control that is what makes it so clever and difficult to outwit and it was this desperate need to avoid feeling anxious that kept me from challenging my codependent thinking 
as though is as it may seem to be able to change your beliefs about yourself you need to disbelieve what the fun- voice of dysfunction is telling you and do the very thing you think you can't do as a challenge uh, you know you will experience anxiety and fear but no one has ever died from feeling anxious or afraid ever feeling anxious or afraid will not kill you but it will free you from the life you're trapped in and from the incessant voice of your dysfunctional mind i began by deciding to actively disbelieve any negative or unkind thoughts i had about myself if they didn't lift me up i disbelieved them martha beck author and monthly columnist for o the oprah magazine says all thoughts that separate you from genuine happiness are lies that became my daily mantra as i practiced this new way of being refusing to believe those negative thoughts as gospel truth slowly but surely my thoughts and beliefs about myself began to change when my codependent thinking said i wasn't capable i chose to trust my capabilities were enough for that moment when my codependent thinking said i wasn't good enough i chose to believe i was enough the more i decided i was lovable and worthy of love the more confident assured and certain i became of who i was and the more clearly i could hear my own voice you must decide that you will no longer trust the voice of dysfunction and once you do i promise you it will be to retreat and your voice the voice of self love truth and wisdom will become loud and clear tell us about what your voice talks to you about and make sure to communicate that to us in the comments below if you like what you heard in today's video please be sure to like share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon i hope there was some take back for the for you for the, from the video and i honestly hope to see you in the next one until then please take care of yourself and thanks for tuning in